here at Bloom Technologies Group invest in ideas. Our research and development department is hard at work on new ideas to make your lives easier, healthier, happier. We believe innovation will change the world. We're growing, and we want you to be a part of it. Together, we can make the world a community. Hey guys and ladies, welcome to Zip Gaming Online, and today we're gonna be talking about Watch Dogs, and this is a serious look at Watch Dogs. It's awesome! It's actually pretty fair in terms of pre-order, and sadly it has a really low replayability, and it has a ridiculously annoying side quest, and I am talking about the online side quest, by the way, because it always pops up, even during mission, like, just before you start a mission, it's like, oh, derp, derp, you know what? you know let's let's do a online side quest it's annoying enough anyway for you that that you know that doesn't know a serious look at is i get into a hundred percent completion rate before i talk about anything so we're gonna talk about the fair pre-order well it's it it really is fair it really is fair i uh, i cannot talk bad about it because like as you can see here, the pre-order and the digital deluxe edition is right on the screen. On the left, you can see that on pre-order on Steam, this you know we're focusing on PC. Uh, you're gonna get the Bloom Agent pack, and uh, you know what you get is you get a nice Bloom Agent outfit, a Bloom a, uh, a Bloom weapon perk, which lowers the recoil, and you get digital. Oh, for the the uh, digital deluxe edition, you get to actually get a few missions and add gameplay time and all of that and to be completely fair they uh, the uh, minutes shown there is actually longer mostly due to the driving you actually get from one point to another point through driving when you're in a mission because you cannot fast travel on a mission and you're pretty much screwed the uh, generally it's like the target area is so far away from where you are that it became such a chore just to get from one place to another it bad it's bad but to be completely fair again about this the digital deluxe edition actually gives you pretty much everything that you can do with the game like the game is complete without that it just kind of adds a little bit more into it but it's definitely not needed so it's actually nice it's actually fair right it's 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 good I'm, I mean like as a consumer I would be happy with that however the problem comes in when you actually started to think that wait a minute if it's that simple and that you know not that important to actually have that then what's the point why you want to do that well to be completely you know I like uh, you can kind of say that maybe but at the same time you have to realize that yeah that, that's pretty fair however again with that being said after a com Leading the game completely 100% completion rate with everything like I, I literally did every single little thing in the game completely this game has a low replayability problem after you've done a few missions you are done with everything you are done but with that being said let's stop and let's talk about the uh, you know the big issues if you will Okay, so basically, I'm doing. Um, this is one of like the main thing that you'll be doing in the game, really. If you if you do not like actually just walking around, enjoying the city, and all of that, yes, this will be it. This is what you will do most of the time if you do not actually sidetrack yourself driving. It's not even like, like right now I'm doing a mission, but if you're not doing a mission, it's still there. All you do is drive, drive, drive. It's, it's pretty bad, actually, when you think about it. So, it's, it's not enjoyable, it, 
uh, it pretty much detracts a lot of the enjoyment of an actual hacking and actual like intense gameplay if you will where there's a lot of times that it could have been really intense but a timer on a screen telling me that hey you gotta go from point A to point B in this amount of time is not really exciting and more often than not you get screwed over because especially when when the uh, mission requires you to actually use a motorcycle it's so easy just to get knocked down for no apparent reason like you you get some random car just slamming into your motorcycle or your car and potentially run you off a bridge or like just demolish your car or motorcycle in question so it makes it even worse if you just started the game and you're trying to do this side quest thinking that oh yeah I'll you know I'll grind a little bit of like money or experience out of this right so on the uh, main mission I'll be ready I'll be prepared for it no it, it, it really doesn't it's actually easier if you actually do something else to gain your level gain your money stuff like that instead of doing this because more often than not that thing will explode but I will show you what is exciting about watchdog so this is one of the later mission like the ending if you will all right and at this point it's really okay basically it's bad when you're trying to be good if you're trying to be a good guy in the game in this particular mission you might as well just kill yourself because what happens is you have to go to like point a b and c right and then on the way the uh, cops are chasing you even though they don't know why and at the same time you get a hacker which I will not mention at least not now um, so you get this hacker that keep hacking the CDOS system just to keep you from reaching your goal and even then uh, this is kind of like the problem with the story as well is that all he can do is slow you down you will get there like it might not be pretty but it will get there however he doesn't have plans afterwards like uh, it's it's kind of the story arc I, I suppose they wanted to make it kind of like you know depressing and just it's it's over all the chips are down you know but really there's not much to it and uh, to be completely fair there's a lot of characters in the game that you could potentially you know be kind of cool with but more often than not they just show up for like a few seconds and that would be it and you lose all that attachments if any like the only time that you get to see a lot of them generally is through phone calls and when there is a cutscene generally short-lived so it's kind of sad and a lot of time you can just exploit the system like this and just hide and people won't find you like there's so many exploits in the game that you can cheat your way to success basically or you might want to call it savvy but it's it's cheating all right so let's Let's move on, huh? Alright, so what is CTOS? CTOS is basically the operating system which the uh, city 
of Chicago runs on. And it's also the, the reason why the reason why our hero, Aiden, if he is a hero, can be like he can just hack the entire city using a phone because everything is connected. However, it's also kind of like a throwback to kind of like Assassin's Creed, but different, you know? Because when you need to use CTOS, you need to actually unlock the district in which the CTOS play, uh, like in, in, in which you want to go. So basically, if you go somewhere where you haven't unlocked the CTOS towers yet, you can't actually do anything with it. And it's kind of funny that the uh, model for the CTOS box is always the same. And look, look, look. See? It's exactly kind of like Assassin's Creed, ain't it? So suddenly now there's places that you can visit and stuff like that. And you get a safe house. But at the same time, before I go, uh, forget to tell you the uh, CTOS box is always the same. It always has a solar panel in it, even when it's inside a freaking building. So it's kind of funny that they do that. Anyway, I've been bashing about a whole lot of stupid shit, so I'm gonna bash more about the game before we move on to the good stuff. So what's cool about the uh, gameplay? It's like, yeah, you're badass, you hack things, and you know, you cause massive mayhems, and when the enemy comes close, oh, take down. You know, pretty much kind of like Assassin's Creed but you get to hack and you get a rifle, shotguns, you know, submachine gun, grenade launchers, all of that stuff. It's cool, right? However, the game thinks that he knows you better than you do yourself and the problem will like it will become apparent when you start using the cover system. So in this case, I wanted to go there, right there, but no, it doesn't let me. Instead, it Puts me into a camera mode and I wanted to go to the cover but it's too late. And you die because of it. And you know what? It happens all the freaking time. And a lot of times you wanted a certain way that you wanted to hack, say, a steam pipe so the entire thing just go like that. But when you follow that, you only hit the first guy in front and potentially two or three guys in the back, if they are close. However, you do not take out the entire convoy of cops or enemies. So it became problematic, as you can see, only one right there got knocked out. And a little pebble will go make you flying like that on a motorcycle, even though you can do crazier stunts on a motorcycle before. So, you know, careful of that, that will knock you down, and there will be bugs like this, which we all love, right? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so glad that didn't happen during a mission. Anyway, we're gonna talk a little bit about CTOS scans. So, what are CTOS scans? It's basically what the cops do to find you, alright? So, right now, um, the mission is to evade the CTOS scan, but you can do this. You can just stop in a place that is not obvious where you can go. So meaning, you can go forward according to the map, but you can't. And you can go left according to the map, but you can't. And the CTOS will get confused. And to make it worse, you think that you can wait, but no, you can't. If you wait there forever, there will be tons of CTOS scans and you cannot do anything, all right? So what you have to do is you have to leave. You actually have to go through the CTOS scans to actually evade it. So it becomes very, very, very problematic, all right? However, let's talk about the cars or vehicles that you can use, that you can, well, basically place an order and you get it, okay? So, a lot of these cars are actually easy to get. So on this time, I haven't unlocked everything um, during the time of the recording of this footage. However, it's actually pretty easy to get them. Most of them are easily, like, you can get them easily as long as you, as long as you, oh, I see a new car that I haven't drove, like, driven before, and I'm just gonna go there and take it. As soon as you take it, you can order the car, so it's actually very easy to get it. 
with the exceptions of um, like some motorcycle name Ellie oh there we go um ah, damn it I forget what it's called anyway that thing the uh, Papa Vero uh, South Edition because it's a Uplay exclusive and the uh, Papa Vero LE I think and these are, are pretty much all well if most most of me. the uh, clothings and uh, there are some more and you'll probably see it in this video I kind of forgot if I put it but this is basically all the stuff and there's the bloom there's the white hat hackers those are exclusives all right however this is the thing although they are exclusive they don't look exclusive to me they look exactly the same they look hilariously weird like most of this clothes are just recolored of another set of clothes that you've seen millions times before it's like you just have like say maybe three torso pieces like three jackets and maybe uh, three pants and two sets of shoes and two hats and everything else is just a recolor of that so oh and, and the mask of course one mask <laughs> with different colors on it different colors and symbols on it but you know, I'll, I'll, I'll show you guys pretty much what you can buy, what you can get, exclusives and all of that on this piece of, you know, inform, informative video. At least that's what I wanted it to be. So, you guys get to actually see what I'm talking about here. <laughs> it is what it is. It's sad. It's, it's practically just recolors after recolors after recolors after recolors with different you know with slightly different jacket with slightly different suit with slightly different hat it's like you gotta be kidding me and some like okay to, to make it even worse right I'm, I'm getting close to where it is now but I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about it there's a collection of suit here called the nemesis right and obviously it's what everybody wanted to get because it's black it's just black um just black suit basically that's what it is and you wanted to be that mysterious guy right and so you wanted that and it's practically just another recolor but it's all dark it's all black it's it's, it's crazy it's like, no way, you didn't just do this. See, this is the nemesis. It's literally just black. <laughs> There's nothing in there. It's just a recolor. It's so sad. But, with that being said, though, the Take models care, do look nice. And I do like the texture difference in each set. Alright? So it's actually not all that bad. And... Uh, I'm basically gonna show you this is one of the uh, missions uh, like mission types that you will run across so you basically have a you know a good selection of mission types here however the problem is like you know uh, when I said low replayability I mean that it becomes very repetitive and once you've done what dogs like just once you are done you are bored you know because the problem is the missions are always the same even main missions and side quests pretty much just seems like a recycled missions that you've done before on this one it's a criminal convoy and the sad part about this is that when you're doing a criminal convoy all you need to do is equip a grenade launcher and it's over <laughs> they cannot do anything it doesn't matter if they're hiding behind a truck if they're driving a really big truck it does not matter just shoot and it is gone and you know what I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make it even funnier because the fact is even on this one this is not an like this is not a startup criminal convoy mission no it's not but you only get paid 10 
thousand cash. It's pretty bad. Stop and the funny thing is, brain. during missions you can Are kill you stuff and you know, people will dislike you for it. But you can just do this, right? Like literally just punch somebody in the face with a nightstick and guess what they'll give you? It's See, it's like you become the good guy for punching somebody in the face. I mean like granted that they are trying to do some mischief, but catching a criminal uh, for a price of like killing three people or maybe demolishing half of the city is not really it's not really fair is it and there's stuff like this like the burner phone it's it's actually pretty cool i mean like it's it, it kind of explains what the story is about especially for like burner phones it kind of tells you what's going on in between the part that uh, the first part of the mission where they kind of botched the hacking job and then somebody placed a hit on them and therefore, you know, because of the hit, basically this Morris Vega guy, uh, by shooting your car, you lose your knees. So it kind of, like Aiden's life started to go downhill from there and it kind of why Aiden does what he does. However, at the same time, there are things like this, which is practically just a, you know, it's what they call a digital trip, right? And a digital trip is basically, basically just um, you going into this um, kind of like an optional world that you do your own thing in. and it's actually kind of cool granted that a lot of them are kind of bizarre like weird creepy bizarre so yeah but I mean like it's, it's entertaining and yes you do get stuff out of it it's, especially if you finished it I mean completely finished it not just one mission like completely finished the entire thing you will get rewards out of it and you know, I'll, I'll take the uh, spider tank mission for example because everybody's talking about spider tank, they forgot about everything else. Um, it's actually like the spider tank gives you an outfit, and I'll be honest, yes, it's a pretty badass looking outfit, but yeah, so even with the outfit and everything, there, there's a, still a lot to do here. There's the uh, let's see, the flower power where you jump through like you know flower petals into the sky and you know it's 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 fun it's i mean okay the flower power the thing whatever flower trip it's very annoying because um unless you actually played it for a little while you'll get confused as to where to land where to go stuff like that because it's uh, you know they only said that you know hit the middle of the flower and you'll get the most score out of it well okay but it's not very obvious you know you, you have to get used to it but after you get used to it it's actually pretty okay it's it's okay I mean like it's okay to be to be completely honest there's really no point to doing it I mean like except oh completion rate derp, derp, derp. but it's it's different and figured you know you might actually want to do that even just for you know just for the kicks and then there is this there is this surprisingly it is fair like you know I've, I've heard some people saying like ah oh, it's it's oh, bullshit you know illusion. but <laughs> no it's actually pretty okay it's like here just really keep the eye on the ball Come on, man. as he you said to pick that one. and like okay if you um, keep going he will get harder and harder but okay, you got the me. funny thing you about it is move. that ball if you cup. really just, just keep, keep watching where the ball is not the cup <laughs> not the cup and this goes to the real life uh, you know game of this as well if you actually keep watching on the ball not the cup as you can see he tried to actually throw the uh, uh, ball from one cup so to another which is really cool I did not expect that, that they would actually do that 
and that's amazing. That that is cool. I, I don't know why people are saying like, ah, oh, it's not next gen. Well, bullshit. Get me any other game in the past that are willing to do something, even the minute little detail, like playing this kind of game, and you know the guy is actually really trying to get you if you will he will actively try to do all this animation with little you know like switch the ball from one cup to another to actually try to make it ball, hard man. for you it is amazing i love that this is so good Damn, man, this I'm is so good so besides that there is the uh, poker game right the poker game it's cool it's actually different and I really liked it and I'm, I'm just you know doing the uh, low poker game here for an example and again because the game is so easy for you to actually get money in this game you don't really do this because oh yeah I need money man no no you don't you can actually just get money so easily without doing this this is just for fun you, like it doesn't matter how big it is like I can guarantee that you can get okay, then. Um, like you can buy every single like you can buy the most expensive gun in the game if you spend 15 minutes just walking around hacking people for their cash it's that oh. easy to get money so Jeez, guys. stuff like this this is purely just for fun all right. And Check. what's cool about it is because you as a hacker, you can play the game differently than other people could. You know, a lot of times, the, um, I think actually most of them, there are cameras that you can see, I you know, check. what are the hands that the other people are playing with, like what kind of cards do they have. and you can monitor their stress level so you can potentially uh, make them put out more cash than they would and then just bluff it out and they will just go crazy and just like okay I fold and you get the money straight oh. off so it's it's so easy it's easy if you're actually willing to actually use your head and not just like oh yeah you know I, I used to play poker back in the day and stuff like that now this is a game think of it like a game so if you actually use everything to your advantage meaning you hack stuff you monitor stress yes it's re like the odds will always be in your favor it's ridiculous so it's 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 a fun game don't get me wrong it really is it's it's certainly different and the uh, animations the uh, like the stuff that they say, the stuff that the players say to each other and to you are pretty cool. Uh, However, the uh, one bad thing is the I animation check. for grabbing the uh, chips are always the same no matter how many chips are in the table. So yeah, you know, that's kind of like, I guess that's the only bad part about it when you come to think of it about the poker game. But besides that, it's actually pretty okay. There are slots or for you know my Australian viewers pokies yes there are pokies so it's pretty much the same idea you you know you put on money and you can just play a single line or add more lines for more cash and all of that or you can just go all lines like this and hope for the best and spin the thing and let me tell you generally you lose like yeah generally you lose and for those of you who really likes pokies, yes, it's the odds are shit. Like you might as well not do this, all right? So it it kind of sucks, especially when you have um, stuff that isn't generally favored to you. And games like this, you'll never win. Just forget about it, and you know, do other stuff. There are so many stuff in the game that you can pretty much preoccupy yourself with instead of doing this but it's still there if you wanted to and uh, yeah see like out of three like what three four tries even with all the lines I only won once so it's kinda sad 
Anyway, there are other stuff like this, like the NVZN. It's basically just shoot 'em up, right? Um, you're you're shooting like this, kind of like you know that uh, what's it called? The um, alien game, the uh, Space Invaders. There we go. It's it's kind of like a Space Invaders thing, right? That you're shooting, but it's it's different. I mean, like the the uh, different thing about this game is that. Um, they kind of start out like this little small thing. Some of them start out big, but as you keep on like letting them just walk around like that, they'll get big. And if they get big, their score drops. So, and it's kind of the problem as well with this game. A lot of the side quests, all right, and even some of the missions, they are very much score oriented, all right. They will count how much score you have, and there will be a leaderboard, okay? You can check how good you are and, you know, how well you did to other people on the leader, uh, you know, on the uh, leaderboard. And just like, oh yeah, check me out, I'm like rank 3 or whatever. But that's it. There is really not much incentive for me to actually wanting to do more. So generally I just do what I need to do and then like you know go until the uh, completion for the uh, review and then that's it. I, I really don't feel like picking this game up. So there are also you know places like this where the side quest is really just you drink it. There must be somebody Literally. here just who wants you to drink with me. Drink it. And what happens is, when you drink, there will be this little, um, <laughs> numbers. I'm used to a different like so, caliber of That drink. pops up, and you have to pop the bubbles with the corresponding numbers. Um, you know, not in order, but you have That's to actually be able about. to knock them down as they go up. However, there are parts that, like that you do have to do it in order, meaning if you click on one, it will Slap pop face, up man. a few more and you have to do it before the timer runs out. And although it might seem easy at first, it does get progressively harder and the problem is like this. If you're not used to actually moving the... Uh, circle around the way you wanted it to you might actually get a little hard like you might have a little hard time here just because it's a little wobbly and the uh, the funny thing also is to actually note the things that the person says so on this one is the one on order because there's the chain on the bottom there it's telling you that as soon as you click on that one Another one will pop up, so, so you do have to do it in order, right? but it is what it is, and basically you keep doing this, you keep doing this, and you try to outlast your opponent, and yeah, there are moving targets as well, which makes it even harder, but again, this kind of thing, it's just a side mission, you don't need to do this to get money, you do win money, but it's not required you know what I mean like you could actually do this and just try to farm money this way but you can't because Turn especially for drinking again, once you are done like this one right so I did that and I won here this guy gets knocked out and I cannot get back to him and play the drinking game again until like he wakes up basically see <laughs> Poor guy. and the other thing as well is that there are other people that you can go out drinking with so that guy was not the only one there's this guy all right and it's funny to note that the uh, like this guy that we're gonna do the drinking game with this exact person right one here needs to check right? This shit out. The only difference is basically the clothing, the voice actor, and the bottle. The glass is the same. It's that weird. Don't worry. But also, We're relatively safe here. the funny thing is, <laughs> some of them have really 
outrageous, like just weird That's conversation. Oh. Like some of them say the weirdest thing. I know it tastes but a unorthodox, but it grows on you. See, like they they say things that are just weird, but generally they're well voice acted. I'm not saying they're the best, but they are you very are well done. This far. But some of the things they say is just weird like oh we spoke we're not supposed to go this far the nature the nature and they just start going to a stupor so it's 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 kind of fun it's kind of fun to just see what he has to say about it so the other thing about watchdog right everybody talks about the uh, graphical fidelity they want to see next gen graphics and to be fair it does look nice but i wouldn't say next gen i mean it looks very cool i like the uh, effects that they do i do love um the explosions especially because i'm editing a video right i actually see the particles in the explosion i actually see like there's so many particles in there it's beautiful I especially love the way the shadows work and you know what's even funnier if you turn everything to maximum and you just cruise around like this you could actually notice the reflection yes and the reflection aren't like you know just a, a basic setup that always happens over and over again in a loop no it's an actual reflection of where you are so yes even though a lot of people are willing to say, oh no, that's not a next-gen graphics, but yes, I'm willing to say that, yes, they actually pushed it. They actually pushed the border. It's actually really hard to actually find another game that could do it as well as this one. You can find other game that does reflections all the way to back, like, you know, uh, as crummy from, like, Source Engine and stuff like that, but is it as gorgeous as this one? No, it's not. So you can kind of say that, yes, it actually looks good. It's actually trying to push the boundaries, yes. But as far as like next gen, it's just a marketing word. And let's face the fact that, yes, it does look beautiful. The, like, look at the lights on the water, on the reflection. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous, all right? And it doesn't matter if it's dark or if it's during the daytime, like nighttime, daytime. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's almost like I want to live in that city. All right. I mean, like it's it's Chicago, and <laughs> I might actually go there again. But it's beautiful. It really is. Spoiler alert for those who cares. But let's let's talk about this. The game is beautiful, right? Look at the graphics. It's wonderful. This graphics right now, it looks amazing. I loved it. I do and the funny thing is if you turn everything to max yes it will kind of look like this and it's like the the greatest thing that they know how to do the uh, voice acting although not perfect but it's good it's decent enough that I'm willing to say yeah I'm, a, I'm happy enough with that not perfect but I'm happy enough with that but the problem is that the game doesn't know about momentum the game does not and the game kind of constricts yourself to actually doing a certain thing which is kind of sad I mean it's, it's it's okay I guess I mean like it's part of the game I, I guess but the biggest thing I want is actually the momentum it could have been so much more it could have been like you know how Aiden Pierce become practically Batman you know it's gonna be he's it's gonna be so good. He's gonna be so good, but no, but no, he's not Batman. He really isn't. So it's it's kind of sad when it comes to that. Uh, you know, the graphics are there. I'm I'm happy enough with it. I mean, like it could have been better, definitely. But there's already a lot of like problems with like how it stutters and uh, you know some people have crashes. Um, I know AMD got a really bad problem with this and people are yammering about it and you know for those who are using Nvidia it's not that great but did you see that on that 
you get to actually shoot the face or the body and I chose to shoot the arm because like well I mean like to be completely specific I tried to shoot the hand and I did this part like at least five times thinking that I missed the shot but no I did not the fact of the matter is I, I can because the game forces me to actually kill uh, the, to, to kill him, I, I can't actually save him. I really wanted to save him, and I really wanted to see what he has to say. And I really expected that would be like the true ending, if you will. And it would open up so much more, and it would have made the game amazing. It would have just completely demolished everything, everything that is bad about the game. And I would be just so happy, and I would say to everyone I know that this is the game to buy. Go get it, and you will be happy with it. But no, it doesn't. It doesn't let me kill. Uh, like it, 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 it only forces me to kill the person. So it's, it's sad. It's like, why you do that? I wanted to save the person. I wanted to hear what he say. But yeah. With that being said, though, guys, this game is awesome. This game does have annoying side quests that gets repetitive because it's been done before and it's just a recycled quest over and over. It does have a very fair pre-order, I gotta give them that and also again because of the replayability issue it becomes a little bit of a problem. But to be completely fair everything the fair, uh, in the uh, pre-order is very fair it's pretty much just reskin stuff and perks that you really do not need at all like you wouldn't even realize that it's there everything else has been really awesome I am so glad that it did what it did however there is a little catch though if you guys don't like this and I know some of you don't it seems like it's a sequel bait. It really is. Especially the ending. Very much a sequel bait. But I'm really hoping that the uh, sequel would be really, really, really good. Because I, now that I've seen this, I really do wanted it to be good. It's that kind of expectation. I'm happy enough. And you know what? Thank you, for, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. I think I've covered everything in the game. So with that being said, I hope I'll see you guys on the next video. And uh, I'll leave you guys with this kind of trying to be edgy ending. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you later.